Hey guys, it's Rob. This is my Taro 650 with the uh, stretched arms and uh, more testing with the 17 inch propellers. I did a video yesterday of it flying around in manual mode, but most of it was off frame, so I didn't post. Hopefully, this one will be a bit better. Just manual mode, sorry, GPS mode initially. Idle up. Just seems to have such a high power to weight ratio now with these propellers. Just put the wheels up. What I'll do is I'll just fly it around in uh, GPS mode using uh, maximum stick deflection. That's full forward and release and full back and release. And you can see just how stable it is. It just slows down nicely and goes straight into a hover. Full forward and release and full back. I'll just swing it around this way a bit and release. Just super, super stable this machine. Full forward and release. That's full back and I'll go to full forward. Straight to full forward. And full back. As you can see, there's just no vices in the handling. Full right to full left. To full right. And full left. Full power, that's in GPS mode. Climbing. And all the way off. Descends nice and stable. Okay, we'll go into uh, manual mode. Probably going to jump a bit when I do that. There it goes. Okay, it's in manual mode now. Plenty of power. I'm using only between sort of 25 and 50 percent throttle position there. Got plenty of excess power. I'll show you a full power climb on the count of three in manual mode. One, two, three. <laughs> it's not bad. I'll bring it closer and try again. On the count of three, full power now. One, two, three. So yeah, really good performance. And it is lightweight, just with a smaller battery and no camera and gimbal, but um, the plan is to try and get 35 minutes or so with a camera and gimbal with a larger battery. Look at the way that flies, it's just awesome. Okay, I'll do another full power climb on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, we'll go back to GPS mode. Straight back in a hover. It just hovers steady as a rock. Such a nice frame. That's just straight into GPS hover. Yeah, since I did my modification to the wheels, to the legs I should say, um, they've just been 100% reliable. I haven't had them uh, stick at all. When they were new, they were sticking quite a bit. Mainly the, the right one wasn't going up all the time. But uh, as you can see, it's working perfect now.
And yesterday when I was testing I got 28 minutes from this battery so I'm pretty happy with that. 15 minutes. Just really quiet too. The, um, the council workers here were watching me fly earlier and uh, commenting on just how quiet it was. They can't even hear it with their headphones on. Alrighty, I'm just going to fly away and we'll do a return home and then I'll stop the video. So that's probably a hundred meters away Climbing. and I can basically only just hear it. Return, right. to return home, let's see what it does. I forgot to mention I've got a voltage sensor on the, uh, on the unit. I don't know if you can see if I can get this in frame. I usually don't hold the radio high enough. Just on the side here on the side here Return is um, the actual cell voltages. Okay, we'll drop the landing gear down. Just walk a bit closer. Just perfect. Okay, thanks for watching.